Hey guys, it's Mr. Wedge. Um, I, this video is going to be really quick. I'm just going to show you how to put together one of these spiral bound sketchbooks. And I prefer the ones with the spirals because you can open them up flat and draw on them. Uh, or just completely fold them over and, you know, then you can draw on it and it's nice and flat. If it's like a book, you have to pry it open like that and it always wants to do that. So it's not as nice to draw on, but um, just make sure all the holes are going the same way. These are your papers. And just kind of do that and make sure all those holes are lined up. And then you just want to sandwich them between two pieces of cardboard with the holes. Get everything lined up. And then this part's a little bit tricky, but you'll get good at it. You just got to start at the end and just keep spiraling it through like this. And uh, it you might have a little bit left over sticking out on the ends. And that's a good thing. You just want to leave it that way so that um, it doesn't unspiral on you. But once you're done with it, you can uh, put your name on it, maybe like your teacher's name, so that if it gets lost, it gets back to you. So I always put my first and last name on it in case anybody finds it. Because I, I try to fill up my sketchbooks when I have them. Um, it's just like a little goal of mine. See how I had a, like a little bit extra sticking out? So, and then you can kind of bend it like that. Then you could cut the extra off, because once you bend it, it's not going to come out as easily. See how I just kind of bent it, but... Um, and then I'm going to make sure I put my name on it somewhere. Decorate it however you want. Paint on it, draw on it, make it your own. Um, I don't use Sharpie on the inside, because, you know, it leaks through the, the pages, but... See how it opens up nice and flat, and then you can do this and draw on it. So, and I'm going to try to fill mine up. Anyway, work hard and have fun.